Hi everyone, my name is Sophia and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a lip gloss favorites video and these are all affordable lip glosses. Some are a little bit higher end and those are just kind of ones that I have like dupes for that I want to talk about. Um, but basically they're all pretty low in price and they're all really really great. I love these. Um, here's the thing though. These are all really similar in color. Like really similar. So please take this as a recommendation for the lip gloss themselves and like their formula and stuff because you're definitely not gonna find much color in here. I am a really big fan of nudes and like browns and like mauvey pinks and stuff. So that's kind of what I stick with and all of these have kind of a different texture and sheen to them. So that's why I really like them. And that's personally what I go for. So again, I love these colors and if you like nudes, you'll definitely find some in here that you will really like, I think. But if you also just want to venture out and find other colors, check out these shade ranges and like the brands and stuff because I know that a lot of them have really, really beautiful colors to choose from as well. I'll also have some lip swatches and just the color and shade and brand and stuff so that you guys can go and check them out and I'll link them down below as well. So anyway, let's get right into the video. So I'm going to start off with my newest favorite lip gloss and the one that I have on my lips right now. Um, but I'm going to show you guys the combo that I have on my lips. So on my lips right now, I have this lip liner, which is the KKW Beauty Lip Liner in Love. It's from the Mrs. West collection, the bridal collection. And it's a really, really beautiful shade. And it works really well with all of my lip glosses and lipsticks and stuff because it's just in the color that I kind of tend to go for, which is like a pinky nude. Um, so yeah, this is definitely a really great lip liner, but I really like the NYX brand lip liners as well and they're way cheaper. So you definitely don't have to go for the KKW Beauty. She was just having a sale on her website and I saw the Mrs. West collection and I really liked the stuff from that collection. So I got this and the blush. The lip gloss that I'm wearing right now is my newest favorite and it's the Maybelline Lifter Gloss with Hyaluronic Acid and this is in the shade Stone. Um, so it's like a really really pretty like mauve pink nude um, and on the lips it kind of turns into like a little bit more brown like shade with the lip liner combo so I really really like it. Um, I love this lip gloss. It's very nice. The quality is really really good. It's very pigmented. It's creamy and it's also hydrating because it has that hyaluronic acid. Um, and yeah, it just feels really great. It's not too thick or anything like that. And it's also not too thin where it comes off really easily. So it's just like the perfect middle ground. And I really, really love this shade. I feel like it looks really, really great. And it's a perfect like everyday lip gloss. But also you can pair it with like lip liners and stuff like that and make it more of a nighttime like gloss look. So definitely, definitely recommend this shade um, of the Lifter Gloss. But also check out the other... Uh, shades in this line because I've heard really really great things about them all um, the formula is just awesome and it's comparable to KKW Beauty's lip glosses and it also kind of looks like them I want to give a little honorable mention to some of my favorite like higher end lip glosses um, also before I get into the rest of the affordable glosses and so Kylie Cosmetics I feel like a lot of people consider it like in the middle of high end and drugstore um, so take it for what it's worth. These are like $15 I believe and these are the lip glosses that I really like. They're the high gloss um, from Kylie Cosmetics and honestly they're amazing. I love these. They're super super like juicy, like thick. They are beautiful and my favorite is actually sadly the Kendall one um, and it's like that red kind of sheer color. It's called Can I Borrow That? And it's absolutely one of my favorites and I do want to find a dupe to this because um, this is definitely not coming back. I think it was a limited edition color and also it came with like barely any product so I'm not the happiest <laughs> that I don't have that much to go off of but this color is absolutely stunning and I love this color. Um, and then I also have the one in Perfect Kiss which is kind of like a shiny um, nude gloss with a lot of like gold shimmer so it's like very shiny and pretty um the high glosses have a really really nice like really juicy formula so i really love the like look of these 
and I have been a really big fan of these lately. Next, I want to talk about my absolute favorite lip gloss on planet Earth. This is literally my like favorite lip gloss ever. Anyone you ask would know that if they have ever talked to me about lip gloss. I love this. It's amazing. It's by Fenty um, Touchy Beauty, and it's the Fenty uh, Gloss Bomb in Fenty Glow. And the color is absolutely stunning. It's like a moth pink with a lot of shimmers, but they're very, very finely milled. Um, literally stunning, and I love it so much. But it is Fenty, so it's a higher end beauty brand. Considering that Fenty Beauty is not a cheap brand, I do want to give you guys two dupes. These are the two dupes that I have, and as you can see, they're very similar in color. One is lighter and a little bit darker, and here is the Fenty Beauty right there. If you can compare those, you can see that they're very similar in color. I think the Milani one is probably the closest match, um, but both of them are just really, really similar. And so, this is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss, and this is in Rosy Future. And it's like a very beautiful color, it's very similar to Fenty, it's just a little bit lighter in my opinion, and maybe a little bit more pink. Um, to me, they're very similar, honestly, they're very, very similar. Um, but yeah, if you're into like a thin type of gloss, and you don't like anything too thick, then this is the color for you, and the brand for you. Um, Revlon has really beautiful, very thin, nice lip glosses. They feel great on your lips. They're not like heavy or anything. So if you're into that, none, nothing sticky, nothing like that, definitely go with the Revlon one. But if you can handle a little bit of like a thicker gloss and you want kind of like a plumping gloss, this is the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper. And this one is in the color Rosy Bronze. So one is Rosy Future for Revlon and this one is Rosy Bronze. Um, and Rosy Bronze is, again, a little bit darker than Fenty, but it's honestly really, really beautiful and it also is kind of plumping and just makes your lips look really, really full. So I love this formula and this brand. I love Milani, I love a lot of their products. So definitely didn't let me down with this lip gloss and lip gloss is a very, very beautiful color. Um, so yeah, I think that they're all really great dupes and so I really wanted to get you guys to see these so that you don't have to spend your money on the Fenty, but honestly, the Fenty is amazing. So if you're ever looking for like a nice high-end brand um, and you want a lip gloss, go with Fenty Gloss Bombs. They also have other shades. I just really like this one. The next one is a ColourPop Luxe Gloss. And so this is just like a very nice kind of plumping gloss. And this gloss is very comparable to the Kylie Cosmetics. I know a lot of the ColourPop stuff is comparable to Kylie Cosmetics. Um, but yeah, this one is really, really nice. It's like a little bit of a similar color to the Fenty as well. Honestly, like anything I buy looks similar to Fenty because I love it so much. But yeah, this one's a really, really nice formula as well. So this is another just good option. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they have a lot of shades in the Luxe glosses. Um, or maybe they have lots of shades in the other formula. ColourPop has amazing lip formulas. I've always loved ColourPop lip products. They're just amazing. So this is definitely one of my favorite like drugstore option formulas. And this one's just nice. It's also cruelty free. I know Revlon isn't cruelty free, I think, and maybe not Milani as well. So if you're looking for a cruelty free brand, ColourPop. Next is the Lime Crying Lip Gloss. And this is the Wet Cherry lip gloss in bitter cherry and this one's literally like very similar to the others but it has absolutely no shimmer and it is like very very like wet juicy like you can like layer this and make your lips look like wet and they're beautiful and I love it the one thing I will say is my cap broke so it just like pops open sometimes which I don't like obviously um, but honestly, amazing formula. I really love it. It does smell like cherries though, so if you don't like cherry, this is definitely not the shade or color for you. Um, actually, not color, sorry. Formula, because I think that they're all cherry scented. So yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. I love this formula. It's very, very juicy and wet. And you'll see it in the try on to me. It's like very, very bright. And I really like that because I really like glosses like this, especially 
for like a night out or something. I don't know. I just really like this. So definitely recommend this one. Then I have my favorite, favorite, favorite lip gloss from Morphe. My friend and I love this one. Gio, if you're watching this, we're obsessed with this lip gloss. It's called Free Bird and it's like an amazing formula. It's just kind of like a brown color and it like is a light brown, nothing like too dark. But it looks amazing with a lip liner underneath. Um, in the swatches, I won't be using lip liner just because I want to show like just the lip gloss. But if you kind of wear like a brown kind of nude lip liner under this, you will, you'll love it. It's honestly so, so beautiful. And it also will stay a little bit longer and stuff. I don't know. This is just such an amazing lip gloss formula. It's like thin enough to where it just feels like nothing. But... It's also like shiny and really pigmented and just amazing in every single way. So I absolutely love this and I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this lip gloss. If you're going to get anything from Morphe and you like browns and nudes and stuff, Freebird is the color to get. Definitely get it. All right, and lastly, this is not a nude or anything like that. It's a purple lip gloss, but this is the Morphe 2 Glassified Lip Oil. And this is just an amazing kind of clear lip gloss. I know a lot of people love clear lip glosses and I'm just not a fan of those because I like just use lip balm when I'm doing that or like a tinted lip balm or something. So personally, I just don't wear like just clear lip gloss, but this is the closest that I have to clear lip gloss because this is very sheer. It's just kind of making your lips a little bit more colorful in a way because it just kind of like amplifies your lip lips lip color underneath um so yeah this is definitely one of my favorites it's from the morphe 2 line i'm excited about it it's always amazing so this is definitely one of my favorite just like simple like everyday glosses for a very simple like very light look this is amazing or if you're just into like the light look always um amazing and i love the formula it's very like glassy um, and shiny and stuff so it's really really nice and I think that this is definitely a shade that kind of would scare a person if it was like pigmented but since it's so sheer it's just amazing all right and that is it for all the glosses so as I said before yes this is like all my favorite like nude uh, lip glosses but definitely check out all of the shades and things like that in the range of lip glosses that I showed because they're all amazing formulas and I really do recommend them all they're amazing to me and I wear them all the time so definitely 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 check them out and all of them leave them down in the comments below the description below um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm really trying to get my videos back on my Wednesday schedule, but things have been really, really hectic with school. I cried five times this week. So we're really just, we're thriving, honestly, we're thriving. Um, but yeah, I will definitely get back into my Wednesday schedule really, really soon, probably this week. Um, so I'm going to upload this Saturday and then I'm going to upload, um, a Wednesday video hopefully so definitely check back this week for another new video thank you guys so much for watching this one and I hope you guys have an amazing day week year life yeah just everything so again thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye it's more than a